uh, today I'm going to talk about installing Ubuntu. This is the second video I made. Uh, I'm just basically redoing the video. So um, here I am in Windows 7. Um, I just put Ubuntu in my browser and then I found the Ubuntu site. Um, so Ubuntu is a version of Linux, which is an operating system like Windows and like I don't use Mac, Apple Macintosh or whatever, so I don't know what their operating systems are called. Uh, they have different names for their operating systems. So anyways, Ubuntu is kind of an alternative to Windows and Ubuntu is Linux and Linux, I think, started out in universities, and it's like, I think it's an open architecture, which means that instead of copywriting it, I guess, or patenting it and making people pay for it and protecting it so nobody can change it, it's open source, which means if you're a programmer, you can program it. Okay, so there's the newest version, get Ubuntu 12.10. .10. Um, so let's just show you how to do it. So it allows you to uh, choose between a, um, Ubuntu server, cloud infrastructure, which I have no idea what that is, and Ubuntu desktop, which is just basically um, the Ubuntu operating system. And here it says all you need is a blank DVD or USB stick. And you can replace your current operating system or you can run it alongside. So that's what I did. I used a blank DVD and I, and I followed the instructions and then I made an install DVD. Okay, so let's get out of uh, Windows and let's go into Ubuntu. The reason, I'll just give you some background, and I tried to run Red Hat Linux uh, many, many years ago, and I just got frustrated with it because um, I, I found it really frustrating, um, maybe because I didn't know how to install programs and things like that, and it's not as easy as Windows to install programs, but actually because um, few years have passed and it seems now that it's easier to for basically newbies or people that aren't that tech savvy to install programs onto Ubuntu where before you had to have definitely a little bit of know-how and and things like that so anyways here I am starting Ubuntu um, I was attracted to Ubuntu Linux because of the availability of free programs that you can get for it. And the fact that you don't have to get rid of your windows. Okay, so basically um, there's things called repositories in Ubuntu and sometimes you have to enable the repositories and uh, that's what I had to do to get everything running. So anyways, remember that enable repositories and things like that and then you could, if you go to Google and look up Ubuntu repositories and stuff like that um, you'll find out some more information on how you can enable um, third-party repositories to get um, files to make all of your hardware run properly. Um, so here we are in Ubuntu and um, had no problem connecting my wireless uh, up to it. Um, and detecting my wireless hardware in my PC. 
Um, Bluetooth, there's still some issues. Um, oh yeah, basically what I wanted to say is that when you installed, when I installed Ubuntu, they have the option. Um, since I only have one 500 gigabyte drive, main drive, and I didn't want to delete my Windows installation, um, uh, and I didn't want to reinstall Windows, um, but I also wanted to dual boot Windows and Ubuntu. So the way you get around that is uh, what you do is you install Ubuntu from inside Windows. So while you're booted inside Windows, you install the Ubuntu uh, DVD and then follow the instructions. And then you get a dual boot machine uh, with a Ubuntu and you know whatever Windows you're having, you have. But the other thing about it is too, is that um, uh, in the future, oh, you're not, the way you, if you do it that way, you're not going to get very much room on your Ubuntu partition. And you're pretty much locked into what room you get, and you can't really change it. So in the future, I plan to get a, a drive dedicated just for my Ubuntu install. Because uh, the only other option I would have had is to completely reinstall Windows, which I just don't really feel like doing. Okay, so free programs, you know, I think that's pretty much why everybody wants to give Ubuntu a shot. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the Ubuntu Software Center, and it's all, yeah, this is a uh, menu bar on the left here, and you can see it looks like a shopping bag with bubbles coming out of it. That's your Ubuntu Software Center. So here it is, here is everything, and I've basically only scratched the surface. I've installed like basically two programs since I've, two or three programs, that's about it. So there's the categories, you got accessories, books and magazines. Isn't that great, you can get all these magazines. Um, you know, I, I've, I have not even explored this basically at all. I, I basically installed um, like two programs. Um, so yeah, most of them are free. Uh, I'm gonna go through some of the technical difficulties. I did run into some technical difficulties. Um, here's the um, terminal. And if you go into here, it's called dash. And in here you type in T-E-R-M, uh, you'll find terminal. Um, uh, here's all the programs installed on my Ubuntu. There you can see I installed an escape. I installed OpenShot Video, because one of the reasons is there's the terminal. I blender on here as well somewhere. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. It's still, oh, there's blender right there. So here's terminal. You know, like I said, you go into dash home and you type in T E R M and then you get this. And terminal's handy um, because if you go and search for Ubuntu, how to, um, a lot of the time what you'll come up with is they'll give you a bunch of code depending on what you want to do. There'll be a bunch of code that you can copy and paste it and then you can put it right into your terminal. Just paste it in here and then enter it and it'll ask you for your administrator or your password. Um, your administrator password and then you can make a lot of modifications to your Ubuntu just using copy and paste different, um, like you're adding your repositories, like I mentioned. Here's another thing called Synaptic Package Manager, and this is going to help you to install programs. So, like I said, there's two ways to install programs onto Ubuntu. One is just, there's probably a few ways, but um, the one way is to 
copy and paste commands um, into your terminal and that will tell Ubuntu to access a repository, find the files you want, and install the programs you want. So you can do that all with a command. Or what you can do is you can go into Synaptic Package Manager here and sometimes what you'll do is you'll find a link to a program that you want to install on Ubuntu. And what you'll do with that link is you will download it just like you download a regular program in Windows. Um, and then inside Synaptic Package Manager, you have to find that program. It might show up or you might have to um, look for it. Um, and then once you've got it in here, um, you can, you'll find it. And sometimes it, after you download it, um, it'll be in here. And you can see here it just shows uh, in Synaptic Package Manager. It's like basically almost like um, a combining of all your Windows uh, programs and options and all your third-party programs and options. And... And, and all your Windows update files and everything all combined into one. So you can see here, this is our, everything with the little green block has already been installed. And for example, say if you wanna install something, you click on it, mark for installation. And then I didn't do it, but you mark it for installation and then sometimes uh, other packages will need to be installed as well and then you mark all uh, mark mark for install it'll tell you um, let's try to let's try to find one dolphin mark for installation there you go and then it see so I'm not going to do that but that's how you do it and then and then it'll give you uh, and then I think I think it'll g apply there it is that apply button will be highlighted and then you just click apply and that will install the package so the yeah, synaptic package manager and that comes with Ubuntu and it's right in here so you go here right click applications and then it's in here so you can find it it's uh, I just scroll it down there it is right there Okay, so that's just the basics of Ubuntu. So yeah, if you want something, um, I had, like I said, I have, I only had, I, I didn't mention that I had a few technical difficulties the first time around, and that was oh, on my laptop. Um, when I installed, I installed lap, Ubuntu on my laptop as well, and I had a really hard time getting it to run, play um, commercial DVDs on my. Um, on my VLC player, so that was tricky, and that's where I had to figure out all about repositories and things like that. Okay, so and when I installed uh, Ubuntu this time on this one, uh, I didn't have so many problems getting VLC to play commercial DVDs. But one thing I did have problems with was um, getting my RME sound card working correctly. And I still have problems. I have to go into terminal. Um, I'm going to show you startup right now. Startup applications. So, yeah, when I want to get my sound to work properly, I have to go into here. Um, it's just because I have a, a sound card that's not a common sound card. So I had to type in a command just to get it to work and then load a mix file for presets and things like that. So. Um, yeah, you might have to do a bit of searching around the net to figure out how to get some of your drivers to work and things like that. Also, I'm using an NVIDIA driver um, for my Ubuntu, which is created by that company, and NVIDIA, right from NVIDIA. So it'll ask you at the beat when you're installing if you if you have an NVIDIA card, if you want to install the 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 NVIDIA drivers, like third-party driver, and say yes because that's the best one. Oh yeah, there's my HDSP mixer. Now I'm going to talk about startup quickly. So if you want to start up an application, then you have to find it. Um, 
you have to open the startup menu from here and then um, you go into your uh, file system here's file system um, and then you find USR user and then bin and that's a list of your programs inside here and then you basically uh, choose whatever program that you want uh, let's go look for oh, there's blender I think there's blender there blender so here's blender so say if you wanted that to start up right when you start up Ubuntu on um, properties so there it is it's uh, in forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash blender and then you just Go here and you add, and then you just put in the command forward slash user, forward slash bin, forward slash blender, add. And then you can check it if you want it to start, and uncheck it if you don't want it to start. So anyways, um, maybe I'll make a video on Ubuntu software in the future if I install a whole bunch of more programs. But uh, I mainly, um, there's OpenShot, and that's the reason I mainly installed uh, Ubuntu is to use OpenShot for doing uh, cool things with my video. All right, thanks for watching.